In this chapter, I'd like to go into some detail concerning the bin window. Certain basic functions concerning the bin window and with material in the bin have been covered previously. Now I'd like to show some other features and also go a little deeper into some that we know. First of all, I'll make my bin window somewhat bigger so I can see more clips here, but also to allow me to see all the available tools that would otherwise be hidden if the window were too small. If I scroll down further, we can see that I have imported a few more clips from the same session. The reason for this is to give me some extra material to work with. The first thing I'll do is go through the clips one by one and give them a relevant name. Of course, this is up to you to decide if you need it or not, but on larger projects it is recommended as later on you won't get lost when dealing with the clips. If I am not certain about a clip at a certain moment, I can of course double click it to preview it, and then I can name it. I'll show again how. I can name a clip with right mouse click and use the rename clip function. And you can see that the F2 key is the shortcut for this. This is my preferred option for naming these clips. Now for example, I can give this clip here the name Polar Bear. Now I have renamed all my clips, and if I view them here, I can see that the last clip's name has not been displayed completely. I can see dot dot dot, and this tells me that the name is longer than what Ideas displays here. To view the full name of this clip, we have a few possibilities. The first option is to use the Clip Properties option, and I can call this up via this button here, or by using the right mouse button and the Option menu. For now, I'll use the button up here. My clip is selected, and now the Clip Properties open. And in the File Info area, I can see the complete name in the Name section. Another thing I notice here is that in the clip properties there is an area for real number. We used this when importing from tape. I can also specify a tape name here. And if I use apply, we see it up here at the right. And the tape name appears but once again in a shortened format. I'll take it out and move on to the next field, which is the comment field. Here, I can insert any comment I wish, and this can be very useful in a large project to have a clear description of the clip. We will see later how we can search for these comments and how to find clips by this method. I'll write something in here. This should be my comment. I'll use it and here in this view we can see that it doesn't appear. It will only be visible from the clip properties under File Info. It is shown here. However, as mentioned, we will learn other methods with which to see the comments directly from this view. Another possibility that is available to use here is the possibility to colour clips. Here, using the Clip Colour option. For the minute, we see default. This means Edius decides what colour the clip is. If I wish to specify the colour, then I simply click here and I choose my colour. For example, this clip could be blue. I'll enter it with apply and in my bin, we can see that this clip will appear in blue. The possibility to colour clips is a great method to create a visual structure or overview, and I'll use this to colour all the clips in which the polar bear appears. I'll start with this clip. Select, Properties, File Info, and then here I will specify the colour. Pretty soon you get the feeling that as there are many clips, to colour them all in individually will take quite a while and so it might be good to find a method with which we can colour a selection of clips all at once. One could imagine that by selecting multiple clips we could colour them simultaneously, and so I'll select these two clips. However, 
if they are both selected and I go to properties and change the color, only the last selected clip is colored. So this method appears not to work. However, there is a method which we can use to color multiple clips at the same time. And I'll show this in the next lesson, where we will also see a new way to view the bin that will give us the possibility to change various properties, including clip color for multiple clips.